In the summer, when you're fishing on a commercial, one of the best ways of getting big weights is when fish come into the side. They come into the edge to feed. And a lots of times you just pick the pole up and you go, you go down the side. But sometimes you, it's very windy, sometimes you get toes. And when the, when the float's moving about like that, because of the toe and the wind, you foul up fish. So to stop that, just fish a little method or a hybrid feeder in the same spot. And all you do, you underarm it, put it down the side where you'd normally fish your pole, put your rod down and wait for the rod to be dragged in. It's a great way of catching fish and what happens is you catch the fish you don't foul hook them. There's nothing worse than having fish in your peg and foul hooking them because there's too many fish in your peg. Fish a little hybrid or a method and you'll cut that out. Tattle wise when you're fishing in the edge it's pretty simple. You want a 9 or a 10 foot rod, you don't need a longer rod uh, because you're just fishing in the side. Your reel, line, your reel wants to be a 4,000 size, your reel line wants to be 8 pound. I, I just put 8 pound on and that's all that I use. And then I use just a, a little hybrid or a method uh, between a 20 and a 30 gram. Your hook length then wants to be of 16 or 18 to an 18 or to a 16 hook and you won't go far wrong. Getting the fish in the peg is the key, the tattle is pretty straightforward and simple. When I'm using fishery pellets I like a multicoloured uh, system and what I use are our Sensate dyes and, and flavours and you get them in, in yellow, red um, and green. So what I like to do is use the natural colours and do about probably 30% uh, of different colours. I just like that mixture, it's just nice. Um, so I use our colours, flavourings and uh, uh, to, to make that colour and if you want to know how to do them, if you want my my YouTube channel I've actually done a, a link into it where you can actually show I show you how it's done it's very simple it's not complicated but I just like that mixture uh, when I'm fishing I think it's different than anybody else's when you're fishing down the side it's simple you, nothing changes apart from it's a simple underarm cast when you prepare the feeder the hook bait's the same you prepare the feeder Everything is the same. The only thing that's different is a little underarm cast that you put down the side. It's still got to make plop on the water and everything like that. And because it's shallower, you haven't got to wait for it to hit the bottom the same. But everything else, the preparation, the hook bait and everything like that is exactly the same. When I'm fishing down the edge I like to put the rod in front of me and the reason for that is if you have it down the side it'll get dragged in. It's as simple as that really and it gives me a little bit more breathing space because you've got to remember there's probably only three, four, five metres of line so the, the bite is really violent so I give myself a little bit of a cushion effect by putting the rod in front of me. You don't need to put a clip on or anything like that because trust me when you get a bite it's quite violent you've got to make sure that your rod's in a nice position because it will go round so you can pick it up if you've got a clip on it'll, it'll bust you so feather it down with your finger underarm it just stop it with your finger and make sure it goes plop on the water that's really important everything else is the same the hook bait the preparation and everything else is the same it's a great way of catching fish but don't put a clip on Two of my favourite hook baits, one is a wafter and what that does when it's on top of the feeder it, it wafts about and moves and I think when the fish come in it moves and attracts the fish but most of the time I like a sinker and what the idea of the sinker is it stops on top of the feeder, it doesn't move, fish comes in, sucks the whole thing in from the feeder with your hook bait in it. They're just two of my favourite ones uh, so if I, I don't want it to move a sinker, if I want it to move I use a wafter. So at Fulker Baits what we do now, we don't just do the, the coloured uh, hook baits in tubs and packets and, or refills, what we do is a natural colour 
Now why do we need them in a natural colour? Well when you're going to commercial fisheries lots of times you're just firing the commercial fishery pellets in. So what we've done now, they're all in one packet or one tub and what you can do, you can spike them, you can band them and you can hook them. So you can feed the commercial pellets in and you can put one of our natural baits on, they're easy to hook, easy to use. Because the bite is quite violent, it's some, some people have a clutch on, so it, when the bite goes they can use a clutch, but I don't like clutches because I don't trust them. Um, and loads of people have told me, but I don't, I like to backwind. So when I hook a fish, it will be backwinding. Uh, it's just, I don't know whether I'm old fashioned or whatever, I just find that that's the best than using and trusting a clutch. I like to throw pellets in, like six or even eight mils, even in the side. And there's two reasons for that. One, to feed the fish, because when they come in, they want, they're coming in for a reason, they're coming in to feed. I know you want them to pick your hook bait up, but the most important thing is to make a noise. Uh, throw them in, make a noise, splat da 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 on top of the water, the fish moving. And because and, fish respond to, to noise, and that's the best noise, because the fish understands what it is and know it's food. I like to have my, my rod in two rests. One at the back is a back rest. Um, so I'm not holding the rod, and but the front rest is really important, and I like a, a deep U or something where the the rod can lock against it. Um, so when you get the bite, it doesn't pull it off. It's no good with them uh, straight face ones because it'll the bite will pull the rod off the rest. Um, and you just want so, I want something that'll lock it up where I can just pick it up. So it's a two rod rest, a back and a front rest. Now one thing you don't do is strike. If you strike, you're in trouble. You won't. You, there won't be any fish in them because everything's magnified. Because you've only got a bit of line, and the, the bite will be like vicious. You pick up, and this one of the reasons why I like a back wine. I can pick up, and I know the back wine of the reel will be going round. Uh, but whatever you do, pick up. Do not strike. So if you want to get the hook baits, they in the tub are four ninety nine, but. The refills are $1.99 and being a tight Yorkshireman, I know which I'm going to be buying. And when that's empty, you can get a refill, put it in there for $1.99. Perfect combination. So when the fish are in the side and they're feeding quite well, make sure you try fishing the method or a hybrid feeder because it's a great way of catching, especially in the summer and in the autumn. It's a great way.